I will take it to Grasshopper. Oh god, um, got it here. I will pick the discontinuities, which actually means the four points here. This here. And I'm going to draw some lines upwards, which is um, line SDL. I'm going to use the unit C vector and um, let's draw it, let's set the height just by maybe we can we can measure the circumference of the of the of the whole shape here and divide it by the number of segments segments we actually have so um, yeah uh, the length of the of the curve we can, we can simply measure like this this gives us the length of the of the curve and we can measure how many discontinuities we have so uh, length of the list of the discontinuities it tells me we have four discontinuities and we just divide the length by four which actually gives us well this is really confusing because we get two lengths but it gives us an average average length of, of each of these segments of the of the line and that is really good because we've got some number here and the number could be the height. If I change the shape of this one, it actually even changes the height of, um, of the poles here. So far so good? Okay, now I will take the endpoints of the poles and here we already have a tree. Oh no, not really. That's strange, but this is probably a very old component. It, it doesn't really create a tree, but anyway. So we take the endpoints and let's draw a roof there. So we simply make an average, which actually finds a middle. And we lift it a bit. We lift it half this height, for example. So uh, we just multiply the height by 0 0.5 which actually makes a half and let's just um, make a line uh, no let's move and let's change the the amplitude of the z vector to the new newly calculated height so I'm just moving the average half this distance, half this distance. And I've got a new average up here. And now I can draw lines from these endpoints, which are these, like this. So now this whole thing works automatically. It creates kind of a kind of a house. We of course can draw a line here just by drawing a polyline that would be closed uh, in toggle yeah and we've got a simple house just based on a rectangle that we have here right uh, is this clear is this clear what I have done this should be super simple. This is just some uh, operations that are very easy to understand. Okay. And now imagine I want to have more of these houses. So I'll, I'm going to draw a couple of more of these things. And also let's maybe draw some triangles. And maybe let's draw some uh, polygons. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to set multiple curves. Uh, question? Uh, Sophia, question? You can speak. Then, at this point, I want to, I want to think about... All right. All right. Anyway, um, so, 
Okay. So here I'm going to select multiple curves and look what I've got. This doesn't really look good. The thing is that now I've got mismatched data here because here I've got a simple list. I create these continuities and each one of the, the elements grafted and I've got as many discontinuities as I have um, uh, vertices here but here I'm measuring the length and the length would be again a simple list whereas the number of the elements of, of the discontinuities would be uh, already a data tree. 